Hello, history enthusiasts. Welcome to another exciting episode on our channel. Today, we're embarking on an incredible journey through time as we explore the rise and fall of one of the most influential empires in world history, the Roman Empire. We'll delve into the fascinating milestones and personalities that shaped this great civilization. Buckle up, grab your snacks, and let's dive into the captivating story of Rome. To set the stage for our historical odyssey, let's go back to the very beginning, to the legendary founding of Rome. According to Roman mythology, the city was established on April 21, 753 BC, by twin brothers Romulus and Remus. The brothers were raised by a she-wolf after being abandoned by their mother. Despite their bond, they quarreled over which hill to build their city, resulting in Romulus killing Remus and naming the city after himself. But beyond the tales of myth, early Roman history is marked by the rule of seven kings, from the legendary Romulus to the Etruscan-descended Tarquin the Proud. This monarchy, however, only lasted for a brief period in Roman history before giving way to what would become the most famous era of ancient Rome, the Republic. During these early years, Rome was heavily influenced by the Etruscans, a neighboring civilization that played a crucial role in shaping Roman culture, art, and religion. Elements like gladiatorial games, the toga, and even the architecture of the city itself owe a debt to the Etruscans. In 509 BC, following the overthrow of the tyrannical seventh king, Tarquin the Proud, the Roman Republic was established. This form of government consisted of a complex system of checks and balances and featured two annually elected consuls who served as executive power, while the Senate was the primary source of legislative power. During the initial stages of the Republic, Rome was still a relatively small city-state, but that would all change through a series of conquests, such as the Samnite Wars and the Pyrrhic War. The Roman Republic experienced rapid expansion with its victory in the First Punic War against Carthage in 241 BC. The most significant of Rome's military engagements were the three Punic Wars fought against Carthage, with the iconic figures of Hannibal and Scipio Africanus battling for dominance in the Mediterranean. Despite its military success, the Roman Republic wasn't without its challenges. Economic disparities and social divisions plagued Roman society, with class struggles between the ruling patricians and the more numerous plebeians becoming increasingly apparent. This social and political turmoil led to the emergence of key figures like the Gracchus brothers, Gaius Marius and Sulla, who all advocated for reforms and sought power. In the final century of the Roman Republic, civil wars erupted and power became concentrated in the hands of powerful military generals such as Julius Caesar, Crassus, and Pompey. These three generals formed the first triumvirate in 60 BC, an unofficial alliance to consolidate power in ancient Rome. The death of Crassus left Caesar and Pompey to contend with one another. As Julius Caesar rose through the ranks, crossing the Rubicon River and defeating Pompey at the Battle of Pharsalus in 48 BC, the end of the Roman Republic was within sight. In 45 BC, Julius Caesar effectively became the ruler of the Roman Republic, marking the end of its Republican era. However, his reign was brief. Caesar was assassinated on the Ides of March in 44 BC, a shattering event that set off another wave of civil wars plaguing the Roman state, eventually leading to the ascendancy of Caesar's adopted heir, Octavian. In 27 BC, the Roman Republic officially met its end, and the Roman Empire was established with Octavian as its first emperor, now known as Augustus. The Age of Emperors had begun. Augustus instituted numerous political and social reforms that strengthened and consolidated the empire, such as overhauling the tax system and creating the Praetorian Guard. The early period of the Roman Empire, stretching from the reign of Augustus to the end of the Five Good Emperors, is often referred to as the Pax Romana, Roman peace, an era marked by relative stability and prosperity. Emperor Trajan cultivated a strong economy, expanded territories through conquests, reaching its peak territorial extent in the mid to end century AD under his leadership. Roman society, culture, and technology flourished under this stability. Concrete, roads, and monumental architecture such as the Colosseum, 
the Pantheon and the Arches of Rome epitomized the Roman prowess in engineering and urban planning. Literary icons like Virgil and Ovid indelibly influenced Western literature, while Roman law and governance set forth the groundwork for many modern legal systems. However, even the mighty Roman Empire would begin to show signs of decline. Over the centuries, Rome faced numerous challenges, from barbarian invasions by the Visigoths and Vandals to internal strife and ineffective leadership from emperors like Nero and Commodus. The Antonine Plague and the crisis of the 3rd century would lead to significant loss in Roman territory and resources. One of the most crucial turning points in Roman history came in the early 4th century AD under Emperor Constantine the Great. Constantine enacted several significant changes, including the Edict of Milan in 313 AD, which granted religious toleration to Christianity within the empire, paving the way for the rise of the first Christian emperor. Constantine also founded the city of Constantinople as the new capital in 330 AD. This strategic move established the Eastern Roman Empire, an entity that would thrive long after the collapse of the Western Roman Empire. In the early years of Christianity, the religion faced significant persecution within the empire, as evidenced by the martyrdom of saints like Peter and Paul. However, with Constantine's acceptance of the faith and subsequent reforms by emperors like Theodosius the Great, who made Christianity the official state religion in 380 AD, the dynamics of the empire shifted irrevocably. Over time, the Eastern Roman Empire solidified its identity as a distinct entity, with unique social, political, and cultural characteristics. As the Western Roman Empire faced the growing threat of barbarian invasions, the Eastern Roman Empire, later known as the Byzantine Empire, continued to flourish, fending off challenges from Slavic, Arab, and Turkish forces. By the 5th century AD, the Western Roman Empire was in a state of decline. A series of weak emperors, coupled with barbarian invasions, economic woes, internal corruption, and the implementation of the Diocletian system of splitting the empire into a tetrarchy, contributed to the crumbling of the once great empire. In 410 AD, the city of Rome was sacked for the first time in over 800 years by the Visigoth king Alaric a shocking event that sent shockwaves throughout the Roman world. Further destruction came in the form of the Vandals and their infamous sack of Rome in 455 AD and the repeated incursions by other barbarian tribes into Roman territories. On September 4th, 476 AD, a defining moment in the fall of the Roman Empire transpired. Romulus Augustulus, the last Western Roman emperor, was deposed by the barbarian leader Odoacer. Although the Roman Senate continued to function for a few more decades, this event marked the official end of the Western Roman Empire. Meanwhile, the Eastern Roman Empire continued to manifest its power as the Byzantine Empire for another thousand years, preserving much of Rome's ancient knowledge and culture until the fateful fall of Constantinople to the Ottoman Turks in 1453. The Roman Empire's legacy and influence continue to reverberate throughout our modern world, from its stunning architectural accomplishments and engineering innovations to its contributions to language, literature, and the legal system. We've only scratched the surface of this incredible civilization. I hope you enjoyed this journey through the rise and fall of one of the most influential and powerful empires in history, and that you'll continue to explore the complexities of Rome's story, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more captivating historical stories. Farewell and stay curious.